you don't smart shot from MM4x4. In this video, we're going to give you a really brief overview of Lockup Mate Plus in the 200 series. Uh, normally, you tend to buy a lockup kit because you're doing a lot of towing and you want to save fuel and protect the transmission. But in the 200, it just makes a fantastic difference to the overall driving um, all the time. So we've designed the kit so that it can be used for everyday use and not just when you're on the highway towing. I'll just uh, briefly describe what you're looking at. Um, this is the lockup mate switch control. It's a uh, blue light indicates that it's locked up and you just push the button to turn it on and off. So one push, it's turned off now and turn it back on and then it's locked up and I've got an instrument cluster here, a camera, and we'll zoom in on the gear selector, you know, drive or sport, just so you can see that a little bit better. All right, I'll give you a quick rundown now of uh, how easy it is to use. Um, first thing I'll do, I'll just have it in drive, uh, just accelerate up to about 80k an hour, because we're in an 80 zone. And what it will do is it'll lock up when you're about above about 70 kilometers an hour, which is when it's the slowest speed that you can do lock up in fifth gear. So you can see there now it's locked up. And as I slow down to 60, uh, that's too slow for lock up in fifth gear. And you'll see it'll just unlock. There it goes there. So it's all fully automatic. Now, if you do want to lock up when you're traveling at say 60 or, or slower, you just move it across into sport mode. It's selected S4 there. And you can see that it'll lock up when the conditions are right. So there you go, it's locked up. So if you want to drive around town, um, you can just leave it in S4 and you drive in a 60 zone, uh, it'll lock up. Um, gives you that nice direct feel, direct responsiveness. And I've found I've saved about uh, one to one and a half litres uh, per 100 k's driving around town in S4. What makes our lockup kits very different uh, is the advanced digital control. So the kit actually talks to the ECUs constantly and is always monitoring the overall status of the car. So it doesn't just lock up, it also unlocks when it needs to, which means it's fully automatic uh, and is very, very easy to use. Um, the kit is constantly monitoring your speed, your gear, your RPM, um, high or low range, four wheel drive, the gear stick position, uh, and is adapting to the situation of the whole car to give a, a fully automatic driving experience. So incredibly easy to use. So I'll just demonstrate how, how automatic the kit is. Um, at the moment, we're traveling at 40K an hour. Um, the kit's locked up, the blue light's on. Now, if I was going to fourth gear, um, it, you're gonna be going too slow to lock up. So I'll do that, I'll just put it into S4, and immediately it's unlocked. You can see that it's adapted to the situation. It's decided you can't lock up in those conditions, I'm gonna unlock it, and that protects the transmission, and it just improves the overall drivability of the car. So I'm locked up now, I'm only doing 1300 RPM. Now, if, I, if you were to keep that locked and you were to start accelerating, there's really not much torque in the engine. You know, you're not on turbo boost. Uh, and what you find is the car just feels really sluggish. So the kit also adapts to the current situation and goes, look, if you really want to accelerate firmly, and I like I'll do now, it's gone and unlocked the torque converter so that you get the extra torque and getting the engine onto boost and then it will lock up again when it needed to, as you, as you would have seen. So it improves the overall drivability by not only just keep it locking up the torque converter, but also unlocking it when it needs to. And because of features like that, you can just drive the car normally. Um, you don't have to think about changing gears all the time if you don't want to. Uh, on the highway here, I just uh, we're in 80 zone, I just leave it in D uh, and drive. Now, because it's fully automatic, um, when you pull over, don't have to do a thing. It'll just unlock, as you saw there, because I've gone about a speed which was too low for the gear. And uh, you can't stall the car. I mean, because it's fully automatic, fully integrated with the operation of the car, you can't do anything wrong, you can't make a mistake. Um, even if you have it in the wrong gear and you're slipping a lot for a while, it'll have a, the LED which actually flash at you after 20 seconds just to give you a little reminder that, you know, you've been unlocked for a while, you might want to think about changing gears if you want to regain lockup. So I'll just take off, I'll put it in, uh, leave it in drive again. In fact, I'll take off in, in sport mode. I'll put it in S5 
and you'll see what it will do now. Sport mode uses a more aggressive uh, lock-up algorithm. And you see now it's locked up, it's at second gear. So now it's accelerating while locked, it's all super smooth. It's third gear, up to 80, fourth gear, and then it's into fifth. Now if you're coming into a town, I'm just going to drop it into drive. Um, so now that I'm under 70 kilometres an hour, it basically will just stay in drive and it won't lock up. So it's your ability to control whether or not you want the kit to lock up or not. So in drive, always above 70k an hour. If I wanted to lock up right now, I'll just switch it across into S4. It's now locked up. Uh, and that's because in fourth gear at 60, it's able to lock up. If I slow down a bit more, to below 50, you'll find that there it'll unlock. There. All right, because I'm coming to a 50 zone. Um, but if I want it to lock up, I'll just drop it in the third gear. And there you find it's locked up. So it's as simple as that to operate. You just choose the right gear for the speed that you're travelling at. Um, you know, you don't have to go through the gears all the time, you know, second and everything as you slow down. Just leave it in S4 and you can just drive around at normal city speeds. So the kit really is designed to be used in everyday driving conditions. You don't have to be on the gears all the time. You just, you know, if you want it to lock up, you change the gear. If you don't want it to lock up, just leave it in S4. Fully automatic. It's all done for you. One of the features of the kit is the LED indicator here is right in the driver's uh, visibility. So you don't need to take your eyes off the road to see if the kit's locked up or not. Um, it also just clips to the A-pillar with the cable running behind the, the trim. And that means it does. you don't need to use up one of your factory switch locations, um, if, even if you've got a blank, which in this car I don't. Now you can adjust the settings of the unit. The way you do that is you turn the ignition on without starting the engine. You then move the shift lever into the support position, S, and then just press the LED. And you'll see that the taco is displaying number one. And you'll see that number four is the value of the setting. And the LED also flashes with the setting of four times. And to adjust the setting, you just use the shift lever. So to put it on three, just go minus once. And you'll see it's on three. We'll press forward twice. You can see setting number one is on five. I'll put it back to four, which is the default. And then to change to the next setting, you just press the LED. And you'll see the taco go to number two. And now you're setting parameter number two. Now the parameters that you can set. Now the lock-up gear, you can set it to lock up in first gear if you've got a modified valve body, uh, the kit supports that. So as you push the LED, it will cycle through the different settings. You see the number changing there in the middle bottom. And that's the last one. And once the kit's set up, it's very much um, set and forget. So you don't have to interact with the settings once you've uh, set the kit up. You usually do it once or you just leave it in the defaults, which is what most people do. So I've talked about many different ways of using the kit. You can just leave it in drive and it only locks up when you're going above about 70 kilometres an hour. Um, you can drive around town just leaving it in S4. Um, but another way you can use the kit is leave it in sport mode and you can drive it like a clutchless spaniel. So when you're going for a bit of a spirited drive. So there it's locked now. And now what I can do is just basically drive the car like a manual. It's an 80 zone, so I put it into fourth gear. And as you come into the corners, if you just didn't, if you just left it in S4, of course, as you've seen before, it just unlocks. Um, but if you want to keep it in, in locked up and keep that nice manual gearbox like feel and have that precise power, you just downshift for the corner. So here I'm coming to a slower corner, I just downshift it into third. Um, if it's any slower, I'd probably go into second. You can see that the LED is still on, so it's still locked. I dropped it into second here because this car in front's going pretty slow. So coming to this corner, it's still locked. And then you can power out of the corner. Very precise power control. So when you're driving it like a clutchless manual, it always puts a smile on my face. Just a great feeling with this nice V8, getting all that power onto the road. Now the great thing about the kit is if you get, suddenly get surprised by a corner and you need to slow down quickly, you don't even have to think about the lock-up kit. You don't have to worry about is it locked, is it not locked, do I need to unlock it, you know, to stop stalling the car. 
it just does it all automatically. So in that situation there, I wasn't even thinking about it. We've slowed down, it's unlocked. Happy days. So just try and keep it in fifth. There's, and now I'll see how high I can get while, so because I'm climbing, it's now slipping the torque converter a lot. And you see it's not locking up, all right? Very deliberate. If you wanted it to, I could drop it in fourth or just back the power off a little bit. So right there, I've backed it off. There's low slip and there you see now it's locked up. So that's the safe lock feature of protecting your, your clutch in your, your torque converter clutch. That feature's unique to our products. Uh, there is another feature of safe lock and that's emergency braking. So if you slam on the brakes and say you're doing 90k an hour and you slam on the brakes, although technically you could stay locked up, the kit recognises you're in a, like a, a high deceleration situation and it will immediately unlock the torque converter. Now the reason it does that is because firstly that's what the factory computer does. If you've got your foot off, it always unlocks a torque converter. But that also means that it won't interfere with any of the safety systems like ABS or stability control. Um, and what it also means, that just say you were braking hard because you were about to hit a, a washout or something like that, if you have the engine connected to the, the drive line uh, with the torque converter locked, all that impact shock goes through the whole drive line, which you know is unnecessary risk on your drive line. You're better off having the engine disconnected, which is what the torque converter does when it's unlocked. And it's just a fluid coupling, and that makes it a lot more resilient to shock impacts that could you know, potentially damage your drive line. So there's a couple of features there. Um, there's the protection of the clutch, and then there's also the emergency braking unlock. So I'm currently driving, I'm in an 80 zone, uh, locked up in fifth gear at 80. Uh, just lightly touch the accelerator, you can see the revs aren't jumping. Uh, if I turn the kit off, to give you an example, so that's now unlocked. If I push the foot down a bit, you see the revs jumping up and down. Again, it gives you that rubber band kind of feeling of the torque converter being unlocked. And then as soon as I turn the kit on, uh, we can easily lock up now, there it goes. And now I'll do the same thing and I'll just push, push the accelerator a bit and you can see it stays locked and all the power's going straight to the road and you're saving fuel. Uh, if I put it into sport mode and I'll put it into S6, it really settles the car down when you're in these kinds of conditions. We're in the 100 zone now. Uh, if I take it up to 100 and just back off slightly on the accelerator, it'll drop into sixth gear. There it goes, doing 1500 RPM. And as I accelerate, it's gone and up to fourth gear, fifth gear, and then sixth gear, and it stayed locked the whole time. It's super smooth, uh, and it integrates with the car really well. Now something else the kit does is it automatically detects when you go into low range four wheel drive. So I'll just do that now, go into neutral, go into four L. Right, so the kit now has automatically determined uh, or detected that you're in 4L and it will change the way it operates. So what it will do is use the RPM for when it needs to lock up and unlock. Uh, again, it only locks from second gear and above and that's a limitation of the transmission. So if I get into second gear, that just in second gear, it's locked up. Go to third. Now, as you slow down, you see it'll just automatically unlock when you get below about 1100. If I speed up again, you can see there it locks up. Well, that was a very brief introduction to Lockup Mate Plus in the Land Cruiser 200. You can uh, go to our website if you want more information or if you want to order. Uh, thanks for watching.